Just last week, YouTube hosted a unique event for a selected few, VidCon. The list of guests was truly something, from popular Schwarzmakers to Mr. Beast producers, and many guests gave a few valuable pieces of advice that you definitely need to hear, and right now, we're gonna take a look at them, break them down, and see how you can benefit from them. So let's not waste a single second and jump right into it. The first advice comes to us from Dylan. And what advice would you give new creators? Uh, one thing I'd love to tell you is that when you start making content, make sure you're making about something that you'd enjoy doing every single day. Make content about something you enjoy doing every single day. This is absolutely true. I say the same thing to all my partners, that there is no point in making videos about something they're not passionate about. Because without passion, the content will be bland, boring, and will not become popular in any way. The ideal combo is making videos about your hobbies, something you like, and making those videos Videos trendy. Okay, let's move on to the next piece of advice from Sydney Morgan, a beauty creator. For you, what's your channel about? My name is Sydney Morgan and I am a makeup and beauty creator. And what advice would you give an aspiring beauty creator? I would say you need to be hopping on product tagging. So product tagging all of your short form, all of your long form, it's great for building a community. Brands love to see it and just make it a better viewer experience. Sydney, who does beauty content, recommends constantly including product tags, aka affiliate links to all featured items. Leaving those affiliate links and product tags in YouTube videos is actually a pretty neat thing to do. It helps creators like you make some money while doing what you love. Sometimes leaving those links can encourage brands to reach out to creators, which can lead to good partnership opportunities. It's a win-win situation, really. For you and your viewers, you get to earn some cash and your audience gets to discover and buy cool stuff they will enjoy. Who are you and what's your channel about? Hi, my name is Marissa Hill. I have a channel called JTV and it's all about sneaker content. How do you make money on YouTube? There's so many different ways to monetize on YouTube. One of my favorite options is memberships. So I have different memberships. All right, Marissa, who does reviews of popular sneakers, says that her main way of making money is paid memberships. If you are doing sneaker reviews, relying solely on memberships to earn the most money might seem strange. There are probably good affiliate programs with brands that you can explore, for sure, and Nike might send products to influencers like Apple sends stuff to MKBHD and others. So if you do what Marissa does, you should ideally get access to popular sneakers and brand items right away, and they might even pay you well for it. However, there could be reasons why Marissa doesn't receive those perks. Maybe she's under a non-disclosure agreement or prefers not to talk about it instead, she claims to earn from memberships, which I don't really buy. While a few content creators do make good money from memberships, it's not the most realistic path for each and every YouTube channel. In reality, to make money from memberships, you need to build a community and consistently deliver high-quality content. Marissa, for instance, makes special videos for her sponsors and interacts with them often, investing her personal time. But here's advice from an old YouTuber. Don't rely solely on memberships. Consider more automated ways to earn, like using product tags. Next up, we have Alan, a popular shorts creator. What's your channel about? Hey, I'm Alan Chicken Chow, and I make comedy videos. And what advice would you give to aspiring shorts creators? My advice is don't care about what other people think. When I first started making videos, it was just for me and for my mom. He says to not worry about what others might say or think. And that is very much true. When you're making content, you need to throw away all prejudice and fear of being misunderstood. Just do it like Alan does. He makes kids videos, but probably thinks his videos are for all ages. But does it matter? No. He got invited to a conference and was thrilled about it. So don't be afraid to explore different earning options and be creative in your approach. Let's see what Patch has to say. Patch, I run a channel called Tirzu. It's a wildlife evolutionary uh, biology channel. What yeah. advice do you have for educational creators? Uh, I would say take your two favorite things and see if you can find a way to just mush them together and see where that takes you. Whoa, Patch does actually say almost exactly what we've been saying for months, if not years. We are constantly talking about triggers and baits in videos. Take one clickbaity idea, combine it with another one, and boom, you got a super idea. And it's really interesting that Patch says this not about content, but about your hobbies and interests. And if we check his channel, we'll see animals and insects clashing with each other, and it looks like video game-like stuff, 
Weird flex, but okay. But regardless, Patch does know what he's talking about. Combine what you like and you'll get something cool. Let's move on. Who are you and what do you work on? I'm Mateo. I work on content and strategy with Mr. Beast. I'm gonna blow up on YouTube. What do you do? I would start with the idea. A great idea leads to better content. Whoa, now you can really see that this person is from a 100 mil channel. He says, just like I do, that it all starts with the idea. The better the idea, the better the content. This is a very simple piece of advice that many people forget. They focus on results and numbers. Be like Mateo. Think of an idea and with that idea, you will blow up. Idea first, content second. Invest in ideas and not the gear. It doesn't matter what you're shooting on, a $10,000 red camera or a cheap Xiaomi phone. The idea is always in the first place and this also works with editing. It doesn't have to be Hollywood class. It can be simpler, more streamlined, as long as your idea makes up for that. And this simpler editing can be easily done in Movavi Video Editor, which is a part of Movavi Unlimited subscription. It's a comprehensive platform that brings together all the Movavi apps for video creation, providing everything you need. Whether you are into video editing with Movavi Video Editor, photo retouching, screen recording, or various tools for work and study, this platform has got you covered. With Movavi Unlimited, you can shoot videos in 1080p and quickly transform them into crisp 4K using their converter and AI technology. This screen recorder allows you to effortlessly capture your screen with real-time arrows, pointers, and figures for added clarity. One of the main features is the video editor's intuitive interface, making it easy and fast to create videos. Its smart AI-based noise canceling enhances audio quality, turning even poor audio into something that sounds like it was recorded in a professional studio. The best part is that you don't need a powerful computer or expensive subscriptions with features you will never use. Movavi Video Editor is highly optimized and works smoothly even on weak laptops. So nothing should hold you back from creating amazing videos. And moreover, given the abundance of YouTube videos in every niche, creating cool effects with Movavi could undoubtedly help your channel stand out and attract more viewers. So seize the opportunity and let your creativity flow with Movavi Unlimited and now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up, an 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off. So don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't wanna miss. Who are you, what's your channel about? I'm Emily D. Baker, I'm a long form live streamer doing pop culture legal commentary. What advice do you have to non-gaming streamers? Absolutely, get on your stream. It is so much fun to talk to your community and YouTube is popping off for non-gaming streamers. This fine woman says that YouTube actively promotes non-gaming streams. Streams on YouTube, well, I can't say that YouTube really does promote streams. Streams are a fantastic instrument of interacting with your audience, but there surely are channels that focus solely on streams. It surely depends on the type of content. For example, history lessons can work as streams, but tech reviews or videos with news won't really work that well as streams. But it surely is an interesting advice. So if you're brave enough and your content idea allows that, try streams out and we are moving forward. About. Come here. My name is Jordan the Stallion. I give uh, life packs and, and fast food secrets. How do you make a good short? To make a good short, you just gotta listen to the audience, man. Stay consistent, see what people like, and then you just... Listen to the audience. That's simple enough. Let's not spend time on that. Too obvious. Sometimes popular content makers don't understand what makes them popular, so they start copying someone else's videos, trying to grow their popularity. But those videos inevitably flop. And that happens all the time. You need to understand what makes you popular and do more of that. Who are you? What's your channel about? Hey, I'm Haley. Khalil at Haley Bailey and my channel is a comedy and satire channel. How do you make a really good short? Ooh, I think you just post what you like. Make people laugh. I send it to all my friends in the group chat. If they say Haley, don't do it. I won't post it. If they say Haley, this is awesome. I post it. Haley here says a good thing. Be funny. Maybe it works for her, but the second part of the advice is more interesting. Haley makes videos and sends them to friends before publishing. Basically, they decide whether she uploads that or not. I would say that this advice 
advice is questionable since it may not work for everyone. Someone may be shy or have less supportive friends. Some creators start their channels in their 30th or 40th and not every 40 year old person can give an objective criticism. You got the idea, right? Dude, even statistically asking friends isn't great. What if they don't watch the content you're making? You need opinions of people interested in stuff you make. So just follow the previous advice. Listen to your audience, but not directly. Don't use comments as a source of ideas. It won't work. Do a normal analysis. Build a map of interests of your channel. Watch the video about how YouTube algorithms work and get into the right niche to which you belong. And finally, Chucky, that guy from Mr. Beast's channel. Who are you and what channel do you work on? My name's Chucky and I work for Mr. Beast. What advice do you give people about thumbnails? Your title and thumbnail directly correlate to the watch time, therefore don't mislead people. Great, don't mislead people. The Mr. Beast guys really know their stuff and share some awesome advice, which I've also discussed in my videos. One crucial thing to understand is the relationship between the thumbnail and average viewing duration. It's the better the thumbnail, the more time people spend watching your videos. Clickbait can be useful, but it should be used only where needed. If you overdo it, viewers might click off quickly. It's essential to find the right balance. So don't mislead people with your thumbnails. And if you enjoyed the format, don't forget to give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.